A lot of you guys are new and you're just starting out your business and your main concern is getting your first initial clients without having any testimonials or experience. And some of you guys might be lacking the confidence and are thinking that you have nothing to show for it. You don't have any proof to back you up. And why would business owners want to work with me when I'm just some random dude who started their business not too long ago? And this type of thinking is leading you to procrastination. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can sign your first initial clients when you're just starting off and you have zero experience. You don't have any testimonials or case studies or any of that. I'm going to be going over four methods you can use. And if you stick around to the end of the video i'm going to share with you an extra bonus to make your SaaS business look more credible and professional all right so how can we sign our first initial clients when we're just starting out we have zero experience we're still learning and getting better every single day well the first way you can do this is by starting with your friends and family there's a good chance that you know a friend or a family member that owns a business and can benefit from your software it can be an uncle an aunt someone from your extended family someone that you used to know that now owns a business now this method is actually how i got my first client my brother owns a pest control business so when I first started my software company, he was the first one that I pitched and I showed him my software, all the cool features, and all the cool ways that my software can benefit his business. And now he uses my software every single day to run his business. So when you reach out to friends and family, they're immediately going to have trust with you because they already have personal connections with you, making them more likely to engage with your software. Also, by starting off this way, you can build credibility because after a friend or family member has been using your software for a while, you can go ahead and ask them for a testimonial. And most likely, they're going to be more than happy to give you that testimonial. Also, they're going to be able to give you feedback on your software. And since more than likely they actually care about you they're gonna be honest and tell you some ways that you can improve so now the second way you can sign your first initial clients is literally by talking with businesses you personally use this could be a barber a coffee shop a small restaurant etc you can quickly build rapport with these businesses just by talking with them and literally just by having a natural conversation at a certain point in your conversation you can mention what you do for work and you can mention how you help businesses with their marketing and sales and even if the business owner that you're talking to doesn't end up wanting to work with you they may know another business that does because the business owners know other business owners and it's very easy for you to possibly get referrals from them and then since you are a paying customer to the business there is something called the law of reciprocity where if you do a favor for someone they're going to feel inclined to return that favor so since you're paying for their product or service nine times out of ten they're not going to mind hearing you out when you pitch them all right so the next way you can sign your first initial clients is simply by creating an irresistible offer if you create a no-brainer offer it's not going to matter if you're new to this it's not going to matter if you have zero case studies or testimonials it doesn't matter how old you are nothing is going to matter if your offer is so good that they're going to feel stupid saying no. And I did go more in depth on a previous video on how you can structure your offers, but basically you're just going to want to have a strong value proposition. So you just want to determine the unique value that your software offers and how can it solve the problems that the business owner has. And you just want to clearly define the benefits and outcomes your customers can expect. Then you just want to have a good hook that's clear and concise. This is going to be for when you present your offer and this will just communicate the main benefit of your product. And then to make your offer really strong, you're just going to want to add bonuses. So whatever you're selling to the business owner, you can include other many things to go with it so luckily for us go high level does have a ton of features that we can sell so a bonus that i can include is yext which will help them with their seo i can offer a free database reactivation campaign i can include a free review campaign i can include reputation management basically you just want to add a few bonuses to go along with, with your main offer and then when presenting your offer you just want to use scarcity or urgency to make them have to act fast so they don't miss out on your offer and then you can add a guarantee just to reverse any risk that they might feel then finally you can use a value stack and this is basically going to be a list of all the features that you're going to give them just so they can see the full cost of the value that they're getting and then at the bottom you can discount all of these features and offer it to the business owner for a much lower cost and by doing this is basically going to increase the perceived value of your offer so your offer is probably going to be the most important thing because like i said before you can be a 10 year old but if your offer is so good that the business owner just can't resist your background's not going to matter your level of experience isn't going to matter your lack of reviews or testimonials that's not going to matter either all right so next you can offer free trials to your clients and by doing this will allow your clients to actually experience your software firsthand they're not just going to be taking your word for it they're going to be testing out your software and seeing for themselves the full benefit of your software and also business owners aren't going to have any risk so it's going to be easier signing a bunch of clients so this will increase your conversions because once you get business owners on your software on a free trial nine times out of ten when their free trial ends they're just going to want to stay with you because they would have received a lot of value just in their trial and they're going to want to stick around to receive more value now a lot of people are against having free trials but if you're having trouble signing your first initial clients you really have nothing to lose and on top of that if you take a look at any legit software company almost all of those software companies offer free trials so in a way by offering a free trial yourself will actually make you seem more legit so now after you do sign your first initial clients if you want to make it easier for you to sign clients in the future you can go ahead and ask the businesses that are using your software for testimonials and the reason why you want to do this and why they're so important is because it will allow you to build trust it will increase your credibility it'll also increase your relatability because as other businesses go through your testimonials they're going to be able to relate to the business that left the testimonial and they're going to want to have the same results 
results. So therefore they're going to use your software. And by default, this is going to increase your conversion significantly. Now the testimonials that you get, you can use them on your website, on any funnels that you have. You can use them on any ads that you run, or even when you're selling your software on the demo presentation, you can go over your testimonials on that presentation in front of the business owner that you're pitching to. Now, like I said at the beginning, I do have a bonus for you guys that will make your business look more credible and professional. Now this may be overkill, but if you guys do want to implement this bonus, this will honestly put you guys ahead of most of your competition. So as you can see here, you may have seen other businesses who have a banner on their website or on their ads or wherever that says as seen on ABC, Fox, NBC, etc. A banner like this gives businesses a whole lot of social proof. And there's actually a way that you guys can do the same thing with your SaaS business. As you can see here, there is a website called Brand Featured that will allow you to list your business on a bunch of sites. So as you can see here, these are some of the sites that you can be listed on. And to do this, you can be literally any business out there. Also, it doesn't matter if you're just starting out or not, your business can be absolutely brand new and you can still use this service. And like I said before, I haven't seen any other go high level SaaS business using this. So if you do decide to use this, it's going to make your business look super legit. Also, when you guys do jump on demo calls with businesses, you can show them that you're listed on major news sites and this will just make it a lot easier when you try to close your client. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. In this video, we covered how you could get your first initial clients without having any real experience or without having any social proof. Now, if you guys are new to go high level, I do have a free setup course in the description. After you're done going through this course, you should have your own SaaS business up and running. Also, if you found some value in this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.